Welcome back. Crawford County has seen some controversy surrounding its courthouses. The most recent one built in 2002. It's really a tale of two buildings because both are still standing. Well, today Suzanne Lawler wraps up her Hallowed Halls series. And Suzanne, you're at the old courthouse in Knoxville now where they still fly a Texas flag. And I heard there's a pretty cool story behind that. Yeah, Caitlin and Aaron, let me tell you that story. So the woman who first sewed the Texas flag is from Knoxville. So she actually tore her petticoat and that was the fabric she used and she gave it to troops passing along here on their way to Texas. That is just one of many stories surrounding two buildings in Crawford County. They've got two courthouses to love. What fascinates me about most of Crawford County's people is their history is very important to them. The original stood on Old Courthouse Lane in Knoxville. Because it did burn. The original one did burn. Construction crews built this wood, brick, and granite building in its place, and it served its purpose for more than 150 years. Inside, it shows its age, but it was once the gathering place. That's where everything took place. If you wanted to talk and gossip, you came up here to the, the sheriff's office. Patty Temple has called Crawford County home for 23 years. This space dates back to the horse and buggy days. People would travel to take care of business. And if they needed a place to stay, well, the third floor provided rugged comfort. This is where all the jurors stayed. They had to be male and they had to um, own land to be a juror. So they'd sleep up here? They'd sleep up here. Honey mustard. Hudson's Barbecue is a popular lunch spot in town, and folks are happy to share memories on what they call the old courthouse. The old courtroom used to have had the windows and you have fans in the summertime. I had to pay my taxes there and I had to stand outside. I remember those days. As the stories go, one day in the 1990s, a judge tired of the cramped quarters. When one of the judges said, you know, one of these days I'm going to tick back on my chair and I'm going to fall out this window. We are not having court anymore in Crawford County. We're moving to Fort Valley until you build us a new courthouse. Well, court did move to Fort Valley, but it had less to do with the window and more to do with the fact that the old courthouse wasn't handicapped accessible. The new one went up, but had problems too. The clock tower sagged and caused leaks. There was a sign on the door that said, enter at your own risk. And I was like, oh my word, what's going on here? And then when they were told everything that was wrong with it, I'm thinking, it's a wonder if it didn't already fall because the trusses didn't meet on each side like it's supposed to. Probate judge Pam Busby says the wheels of justice moved to a neighboring county. But as far as the superior court, you know, they ended up um, having to have a court in Peach County. Today, the roof doesn't leak and the courtroom is up to date. But remember, these are folks that want to preserve the past, so the old courthouse will never be forgotten. Because this building is very important to this community. Yeah, never be forgotten. And if you want to get in to see the old courthouse, we'll just come to the Jug Fest. That's when they open it up for tours and that kind of thing. And a good portion of the money of the Jug Fest goes into keeping this courthouse up. They eventually want to open it up as a museum. Caitlin, Aaron. Awesome. Oh, that's really cool. Thank you, Suzanne. And we have put a lot of extra things online, including a story about how former President Jimmy Carter hung out at that old courthouse. Really? And he came away with a, a pretty dusty suit. So it's an interesting <laughs> story. I'll have to check it out. We also do have pictures and this wonderful drone video for you to explore. All right, Hunter.